Hey everybody out there in Reedsburg Nation. Uh, my name is Travis Fry. I'm the associate principal here at Prairie Ridge Intermediate School and uh, thank you so much for tuning in to News and Views for the month of March. And uh, it is the day before St. Patrick's Day. We've got uh, a couple inches of snow and ice on the ground. Last week we had 60 degrees and sunny and kids were peeling their coats off and uh, so it's just been an interesting year, and obviously with March, you never know what you're going to get. A um, couple things I'm just going to touch on. Uh, uh, in our fourth grade, we're, we're currently uh, in the midst of our maple syrup tapping season. We've had a really uh, successful year. We've had a lot of days in the low 40s, uh, and then at night getting down in the low 20s, so it's just the prime uh, maple syrup flow season. Uh, big shout out to Mr. Pete's, our K2 associate principal, and all of our uh, fourth grade staff uh, and volunteers who make that possible. It's it's just an awesome thing. And um, I just love going out there and, and get, and especially this year with the lack of field trips, it's just really nice to see kids out uh, taking advantage of the Harchie Center. Um, so uh, just you know, another update, I remember uh, filming this in the fall and we were four days a week and then we quickly changed back to hybrid. Uh, so I hate to jinx ourselves, but we've been uh, with doing the news and views again, but we've been uh, um, four days a week for a couple, couple weeks now. Everything's been really, really successful. Um, I don't know if you're following the numbers, but our district currently at the time of recording this is uh, zero cases and uh, for students and staff and I'm knocking on wood because uh, we want to keep that going and uh, we're, we're just really happy with where we're at and Prairie Ridge uh, being the, the longest uh, so far school uh, for four days a week. We just have such a unique building with 100,000 square feet. We're really able to space everybody out a lot better uh, to keep that going. So shout out to our staff, students, uh, it's a testament to all of them for the compliance with mask wearing, the compliance with hand washing, uh, the compliance with, with distancing at, at, as best you can, when you can. Um, there's obviously times where that's not possible, but uh, we're really proud of the things that we're able to do and to keep our building open. If you think back to this time last year, we were shutting down and we didn't get to say goodbye to our students. Uh, teachers were super remorseful as well. Uh, they just didn't get that closure and, and kids didn't get that closure with their te teachers. So we're really excited about moving forward with April and May and June and, and, and finishing a full year. As, as you, many of you know, Prairie Ridge was brand new last year and we, we, did, we still haven't had a full year here. So that getting through the next couple of weeks and months is going to be huge. And it's just looking forward to that. And we're, we're in such a better place now. And so I'm really happy and excited about what that is going to bring for us. Um, other things to note, just, you know, because our building's been here and, and a lot of other neighboring schools have passed referendums, it, it's been really neat uh, to, to tour our building with other district administrators. They've, they've been looking at Reedsburg and Prairie Ridge as a destination. Uh, we built this beautiful school on a hill and um, all the unique things that we do here um, and walking through um, with with superintendents and principals and, and explaining our process, not only you know logistics, but layout and philosophy has just been really cool. And um, you see a lot of those administrators nodding their heads and saying, man, we didn't really think of doing it that way. And that makes so much sense and um, so efficient the way that you have things laid out. And so um, it's been just validation that what we built here is, is, is going to be great for many, many years. And a lot of districts are taking note of that. So something to be proud of. Um, I, I just really am proud of this building, this community. Uh, and it's really going to be a beacon for others to follow in our footsteps. So um, it, it, I'm just excited about doing that more in the future. And so if you're out there in the community and haven't seen our school and, and when things get a little bit um more relaxed with with letting people in. We we'd love to show you around and 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 see where your tax dollars went and what we built here is just really special. Um, you know, and I'll just end on one more just positive note. Uh, all of our staff got vaccinated a couple of weeks ago. Uh, huge morale boost for everybody. We're we're all looking forward to getting back to normal in five days a week, and um, 
we just that that was a huge boost for us and the next dose coming at the end of march here is just going to be that extra layer of security and safety and getting everyone back and so um i'm just excited i'm excited about where we're going and um where where we're going to be next year at this time too and um you know at, at being as safe as possible but also doing what's best for kids and you know having them in front of their teacher, we realize how important that is. So um, I guess just thanks for supporting us. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, um, you know, helping out with this year. I know it's been so unique. We've, we've asked a lot from, from our, from our community and from our parents. And so if there's any, any things that we can do to help alleviate you or you need help, you know, please ask. We, we're here uh, as advocates for, for everybody in our community not just students, but for parents and families. So um, thank you for your continued support and we'll talk soon.